Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of kind of survival-friendly builds with myself, Tyrius. Um, I did build this in survival, so I know it can be done. It does require uh, an obscene amount of wood, but that's it. That's all it is. It's wood and wool. Um, you can't get much cheaper than that. So this is just a, it's a picture of an Asian-style house that I saw online and decided I want to try building it. That's how I usually build a lot of my stuff as I find a real life building that I like and uh, duplicate it or with some minor tweaks so with that being said let's go ahead and... all right so step one is to go ahead and lay out our framework so on the pick wherever you want to throw this thing down and you're gonna leave a gap of five in the center here and then a stack of four of your dark oak wood okay that's pretty pretty straightforward leave a gap of three throw another post down gap of three another post over and over and over again so you're going to have from your center gap you're going to have four gaps of three between each of these so five sets of pillars and then three gaps or four pillars on the side and it's exactly the same around the other way uh, you're gonna have to go ahead and just pause this video back and forth back and forth uh, if I tried to record this whole thing, this whole build, it would take forever. So that's your basic shape. These eight in the center, four per side, are four high, and then they progressively get taller. One block higher, the further you get out, until you are seven blocks high on the outside edge. Seven, six, five, then four, 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 five, six, and seven. Okay? So go ahead, get to that point. Feel free to pause it here and okay from this point we're gonna go ahead and head over to each of these corners right here kitty corner in and we're gonna make a stack six high okay just like so, so there's gonna be one stack just because the corners won't line up you'll you'll understand when we uh, have the next step here so we'll go ahead and put right off the corner of these corner posts corner of the corner six high one shorter than the outside wall is okay then we're going to go ahead with our dark oak wood planks and we're going to throw a layer of these in all the way around the inside like so okay and we'll show you what that looks like okay so there you have it all we've done is put a ring of dark oak wood planks around the bottom edge and then a solid ring leaving a gap of two here one two and then another ring that runs the entire inside of all the posts and then intersects with these ones in the corner all right right at the entrance we're also going to want to change this up a little bit we're going to throw on a stack of dark oak wood just three high to match up the inside here this is going to be for our door frame okay we're going to do the same thing on the other side three one two three next step is to take our wool and our wool is going to go up against the inside of all of these posts just like this follow it all the way around the outside edge skip the one at the corner and continue on skip the one at the corner all the way around okay so let's go ahead and do that after we're done that we're gonna put in our fence inside the center of that so that's gonna give us our basic shape that's pretty much it for the first floor framework okay so you guys want to go ahead put your wool lined up with all your posts from the inside and then fill in between the wool with fence posts let's go ahead and do that now and there we have it next step is to take our dark oak wood again and we're going to put some support beams inside here so in line with all of the wool come off the center and connect all the way across okay we're gonna do this on every one of these so it's gonna come in line with each one of these all the way across next thing we want to do is take our birchwood planks and we're going to run all the way on the inside here and we're gonna create the floor so above all of these pillars and all the way across don't go on to this here the dark oak wood just cover over the gap okay 
All right, so now that we've got our second level floor put in there, we're gonna go ahead and start in on finishing off the framework and adding on the second level. So from these center points, you're gonna move in on top, directly behind this, on top of the birch and place a block. Again, same thing right behind this one and place a block. This one you want to be too high, this one four high. Okay, the same thing here, two, and oops, three, four. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Two, and again over here. Now, that's what it's gonna look like there. So that's the start of our second floor. What we're gonna wanna do here on the ends is on the sixth one high. So in line with these here, we want a cross beam going all the way across like this. So it's gonna co cover the top level of that one. So let's go ahead and do that if we can. All right, and then these ones here, you want to extend to 10 high. So right now there's seven. So we'll go eight, nine, 10, eight, nine, 10, and then we'll come across like that. So that, I hope that I explained that half decently. We'll go over here to the other side and we'll do it again. There we go. So in line with this post here, all the way across, at six high off the ground. And then these middle ones, we're gonna to extend to 10 high and then connect them just like that. So that's the start of our second level floor. Okay, let's go ahead and get started on the roof. And it is absolutely critical that you get this part right. If you get this right, the rest of it is just gonna to come together. So in between the doorways here, we're gonna go ahead and put half slabs all the way across there, okay? And underneath that. See how those change colors a little bit when you add a block underneath? And then extend this out as well. So you have three, or five half slabs across the center here, and then three half slabs coming down one. Then we're gonna go up one half a block and lay three half slabs. We're gonna come up another half a block and lay three half slabs. And we're gonna repeat that process over and over and over again. Up a half a block, lay three half slabs. Three by three, three by three, three by three. The only reason we're doing this is just so we don't get the lighting glitches underneath. We're gonna fill all this in afterwards. So go ahead and come up another one. One, two, three. Up another. When you get to the end, you're only gonna go up two for the last two levels. So this one here is gonna go up two, and this one here is going to go up two off the end. All right, I hope I explained that half decently. Let's do it again on the other side. So we've got the three in the middle here. So this is three blocks on the third, three and a half blocks high to the center. And then we go three out, up a half block. The only reason I'm pushing it all the way back here to do this is just so I don't have to float a block there and then delete it afterwards because we're gonna fill all this in anyway. Up half a block, oops. Up half a block, over and over and over again. Okay, when we get to the end, we only go up, we go up half a block again, but only two blocks wide, and then two blocks wide extending out one block past the edge of this. So we can go ahead and do it one more time on the other side, just to get an absolute perfect idea of what I'm doing here, because you don't want to mess this up. This is, you either make it or break it right here. So we're gonna go ahead and extend this across, five in the center, drop it down half a block, and extend it out one, okay? Three blocks, up half a block, three blocks, up half a block. You just watched me do this a half a dozen times and over and over and over again, okay? I don't know how much clearer I can make that. And when we get to the end, right before we get to this last one we're gonna lay down, 
we have two instead of three and then up sorry over only two wide instead of three okay so it looks like that let's go ahead and fill in the rest of that all right this is where we get a little bit repetitive so we stepped up one block and we've lay three blocks step up one so we're only going to go we've now gone out half a block and we've got in half a block to lay down another layer of half slabs do the same thing again so it's this you get this whole step effect see how it is in the front the first row comes up half a block over three up half a block over three we're just repeating that pattern up half a block over three up half a block over three when you get to the end it repeats two and two instead of the three and three so you start to get this staircase effect so you get this nice curvature on the edge of the building go ahead and do it again on this side one two three I'm just going to count three a thousand times in this video because it'll be fun I'll be starring on Sesame Street next week see there you go now this next one we're going to move in half a block again I'll switch to full blocks because I don't want to leave it like this because you'll end up with that lighting glitch there so I'll just use the full blocks in here this is the only exception to this we don't want to place half a block here because you're going to see the flooring in behind that then so we just go ahead and place the full blocks all the way across okay and then do the same thing again again this is where you're gonna to have to place a lot of extra half slabs to fill in these voids otherwise like I said lighting glitch bad up half a block over three how many times can I say that in this video somebody will count it at some point I'm sure oops okay so we'll go ahead and do that on the other sides up half a block and over three I can't explain it any more clearly than that up half a block over three this whole thing it increases by half a block every chunk we'll go ahead and fill all those sides in and I'll be right back okay so we've gone ahead we've put in the first three layers of our roof slowly curving one block half a block higher on each step of three going out now we decide we have to step it up a full block to get the full curve of the roof that starts out slowly and gradually works its way upwards okay so let's go ahead and start in on the next level of that so don't fill anything in in here because this is again this is going to be our where the library in there now starting on the corner of this post we're going to step up two full blocks or sorry two full blocks two half blocks one full block up to the side then we move up half a block and do the process again okay so we have a step up of two here but hor horizontally it's still only going up half a block and it's the same thing over and over and over again oops don't mind that don't mind the misclicks all right so it looks like that then we're going to step it in again again we're going to go up a f one full block okay and then oop, uh, yep one full block and extend it out i'm going to go ahead and do this easier to see from this side once we get everything filled in it'll look a lot better um, so we're still going up two blocks and we're gonna do it a third time just like that okay so at the start of this we have from the point we started goes up half a block going out and half a block in for the first three levels for the next three levels you're gonna go a full block up and half a block in every level you increase so I'll show you what that looks like here one second all right so that's what it looks like there I'm really poorly explaining this but that's what it looks like let's try this again on the other side starting from the inside edge here three blocks and then extend it half a block higher as you come out so it's a step up of two I should probably record this twice but hey that's okay 
just like so. This is very repetitive. So we're going to do this for the other three sides. We'll come back when I've got this point done. Okay, so that's our roofing done. Uh, I'm going to apologize for my voice. It's very late here. And uh, I'm trying to record after doing an orientation session at work tonight. So uh, I've made a slight error here. So we're going to go ahead and take these middle ones here. We're going to increase those to three high instead of two. Change on the fly. Apologies. Not a big deal. It's going to cost you four more dark oak wood logs than you thought it was. Take the dark oak wood planks and we're going to fill in the space in the center here. And then leave a space of one where we're going to put our fence and then fill in the dark oak wood planks again. Get that little little shape there. On the sides here, we're going to do it two high instead of one high. Don't worry about that bit. That's all going to be covered up by the roof anyway. So we're going to have our fence just like so. And then the dark oak wood planks across the top of it. All right. That's what it's going to look like there. We'll go ahead and do that again on the other side. All the way across. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm going to... Wow. Do the same thing here. And cross the middle. And fill in all of these spaces with the fence. Apologies for the lack of commentary while I focus on placing a block. Okay, we're going to finish off the peak of this roof now. So we've gone up half a level for each of these, then a full block for three, and now we're going to go up by three blocks. So let's go ahead and take that all the way up. One, two, three, just like that. And then all the way. We're still only dropping down by half a block when you come to the edges, but it's now three blocks high when you're stepping up forward, or three half blocks. I deal in half blocks throughout this entire build. I might say three blocks, what I mean is three half blocks. If I mean three full blocks, which I won't, uh, I will actually say that. Okay, so that's what's going to look like all the way across. Again, this lighting problem will get fixed up for the most part uh, once we get all the blocks laid underneath. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that for the other three corners. All right, guys, if we followed along here correctly, and I've explained this even half decently, this is what it should look like now. We're going to go ahead and start adding on for our third floor. So from the four corners of these guys, we're going to connect those together with the logs again like so okay and on this side as well we're oops we're not going to uh, to do it the other way we'll, uh, we'll fix that up after now in the center here this is actually going to come all the way across um, from the top of this frame this is the outside edge here right from this corner block this middle block that guy right there we want to come all the way back this way until we are in line with the edge of the roof. There's a division here. We want to do the same thing here all the way back just to this point. And the rest is going to be roofing. Let's go ahead and do that. At the very end here just to uh, make it look a little more authentic. I like to have that showing on both sides. Not necessary. You can leave it uh, turned the other way if you like. It's entirely up to you, but I prefer it that way. It's just me. Okay, so from here we want to go ahead and see how this finishes off right here. We're going to drop down one log and finish this off in the center, like so. So that so you get the shape you get from the second floor. Next step is to take our flooring and we're going to go ahead and put that just the half blocks this time in level with the top of this log so that's going to fill in this floor here okay we'll go ahead and do that in one second all right so we're going to go ahead and add in the last floor here 
this space here that we kind of left, we could just fill dot all in earlier with spruce planks. Take our dark oak wood, and same as we've got here on the other side, directly behind this post, we're going to go three high off of the birch or whatever the other flooring is that you used. Don't use the same color. <laughs> uh, it's nice to have a little bit of contrast. And I do like the look, especially in vanilla, of the birch wood as opposed to the oak, but the then the window uh, fence doesn't uh, doesn't line up. All right, so we'll come back to that thereafter. Let's go ahead and finish off the ends. So in here we've got this big ungodly gap. So we'll take our oak wood planks, fill in this space, and then from the inside of that space we're going to take our logs again and run those between these two. These are the corner. I suppose I can show this. Um, the corner posts that go up when you reach the top of those, extend them all the way over. Okay. And once you've got that done, go ahead and run your dark oak wood along, oops, in line with these pillars here. At the top where there's a space, just go ahead and put in some more of the, uh, the half slabs of the dark oak. We're going to take our uh, oak wood planks and we're going to run across the top and across the bottom of that window opening. And then in the corner here, like this. I don't know how else to explain this other than visually. So you get that kind of shape there. We can take our fence, fill it in the middle, one, two, three, and one here in the corner, just off to the edge. And we're going to take our dark oak wood slabs and anywhere where there's a little tiny space there, just go ahead and, and fill that in. We want these to be all, all solid. Don't want to be able to see through there at all. Okay. Up in here, where you see all this, just go ahead and fill all this in. We will, uh, we'll fix this up afterwards, but you can take your fence and I'll show you this from the outside. Can I get out of here? How can I get out? From the outside, right above this post, go ahead and put another fence there, just inside. Just gives it a little more, a little more, a little more something. Okay, so that's what that looks like there. And that's what your ends should look like. That shouldn't be there. The corner pieces here, they should all be connected by one half slab. So see how there's, between the levels, there's a half slab connection. That should be consistent going all the way up. There shouldn't be more than or less than that. If there's more than that, then it's going to give it kind of a funny little look, with the exception of the very tip of this. All right. So we'll go ahead, we'll do the other side the same way, and we'll be right back. Okay, let's go ahead and start on our second level roofing piece that's going to pop out there. So from the dead center here, skip half a block and then on the top edge of that place your three blocks wide that's actually really hard to see i'm sorry about that uh, then we're going to go ahead and repeat similar patterns down here just shorter so in the next one we go up half a block again two wide up half a block two wide up half a block two wide and then the last one we go up by one that's not going to work, is it? Uh, um, there we go. Up one. This is a lot of the similar colors, so it's hard to see. I do apologize for that. But uh, it does, like you said, look pretty good when it's all done. So we'll go again the other way. Up half a block, too wide. And rinse and repeat. About a thousand flipping times. There we go. On the next one, we're going to go up half a block again, but only one time. So this is all like that. We're going to leave that as too high. That's okay. It's the only spot that's going to be like that. And then again, you just want half a block to connect all these all the way up. On the next one, instead of just going stepping in another half a block up this way, we're going to go up a full block. 
like so. Okay. Like that. A full block. Same thing on the other side. I'm sure you guys have this by now, but we're going to keep showing it anyway. I hope that uh, everybody's following along. Again, we want a half block connection there. We're going to step it up by two one more time. So there you go, there's your two, 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 and if I can get that there, two. So that's what it looks like from the side. We'll finish it off one more time on this end. Two higher than the previous level. Two higher than the previous level. I don't know how else to explain that. I keep saying the same thing over and over again. All right. So from there, we're going to jump up three because we're reaching, we've reached the, or nearly reached the center of this. Did I count that right? Hang on. Hang on. Go up two, two, yeah, three, and then one more. Perfect. I didn't mess that up. Three half blocks now. One, two, three. Again, only connected by a half a block. And rinse and repeat. Goodness, this is getting tiring. Okay, so it all goes up half a block. Again, this lighting glitch is going to get fixed up once you get uh, all the blocks in there. Do one more on time on this side, then I'm going to go ahead and clean up the other sides to match. So three high. Three, three high. Oh. There we go. I forgot that was only two wide instead of three. There we go. So that's what it looks like. Okay. Let me go ahead and fix up the other side. Be right back. Okay, there we go. We've got that all fixed up. We'll just go ahead and go in the inside here and clean all this up. So we want all of these to be to be full up right underneath. We don't need to see any of this stuff. Okay. I just use half slabs. They fit underneath everything. And it just starts to fix up all this here. Uh, we're going to want to go ahead and make a fill in between all of these here. I left the space in the center. Could have told you this before, but hey, we didn't. We can just go ahead and fill all this in to match all the way across. Okay. Again, make sure that it's two blocks deep so that you don't get any lighting issues. The same thing on this side. Oops. There we go. And we'll go ahead and fix that up there after. Uh, we only want that to be like that. Perfect. So from the inside here, if you build this in, uh, we're going to go ahead and clean that up. So you want the nice upside down T shape, I guess that would qualify as, and throw the fences here in the center. So from the other side, I'm very bad at explaining this. We want to be solid all the way across. Did I line that up right? Or did I put that too far out? Yes, no, that's all right. That's good, right where it is, perfect. So go ahead and fill all this in. So you have the dark oak wood going across the bottom. Catch it in on the corners here. And then make the upside down T. And one, two. Oops, too much. And then fill it in with fence. Okay. From the ends, it's gonna look like this. So just a little bit shown there on the sides, not too much, just a, just enough there to give you a hint. Okay. Uh, on the inside here, we're going to go ahead and fill in the middle of this with dark oak wood planks. Because, hey, that's what we've been using all the way along, and why not use a few more? And fill in the center of that with the stairs. Stairs. Oh my goodness. Fence. It's fence. Probably shouldn't be recording this at 1.30 in the morning, but hey, we're doing it anyway. And there we go. Okay. What we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead. Uh, you get the general shape there. 
we should have the peak of this roof to finish up and then some of the trim to do in on the in interior so in order to do this roof take your slabs that we've been using for the last how long and extend this out so we want to be one block beyond the top post of this and out but in line with it level with it okay and we're going to take our stairs first time for that and we're going to go ahead and place those there all right same thing on this side and then stairs okay so we'll give you a show you what this thing whole thing is going to look like when we're all done this is what the shape we're going for here and then it's going to peak up in the center so we'll go ahead and finish that off and then we're going to gradually ramp it up to the middle here we go uh, just make it level all the way across don't worry about trying to make this look like something yet we're going to go ahead and bring it up and this is going to float Okay, we don't need it to connect because if it connects, it makes it look too bulky. We'll just go ahead and leave it like that. Like so. And last level up, like that. So we want to do this. And oops. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Forgive me. I have to apologize. Let's go ahead and extend that all the way across to the other side, okay? It's just the easy, easiest way to do this. Oh, ah, there we go. What happened there? All right. Again, we're going one block beyond the edge of this. We'll go ahead and fill in the rest with our... Yeah. Uh, we don't have to go in there because we're going to cover that up anyway. And slobs. Slobs. And stairs. Beautiful. Across the top of this, you do have some options. You can fill it in solid, which is what I did on the other side, which is what I'm going to do. I fill it in solid? Yeah. We'll put, we'll put one more piece of fence in there. Maybe three more. We'll go three more. Whoops. You get a lot of creative license with all this too here. Oh, we did two, three on the other side. That's why I chose to go three now. Perfect. Uh, there we go. Yeah. You're looking all right. You're an all right looking house. Lovely. Let's go ahead and fix this up here. Just take the solid oak wood. Don't try doing stairs in here because you're wasting your time. So we're going to cover this up anyway. So now we want to slope the center of this roof up into the center. So we probably want it to be about yay high. So start by stepping it up one block and then maybe two blocks. Or one, we'll go another one. And then, yeah, we'll do something like that. Bunk, 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 bunk. What are you doing? There we are. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing off the sides here as well to give this. Uh, otherwise, it just looks like it has a house has a mohawk. <laughs> it's the last time you saw a house with a mohawk. Let's go ahead and build this up a little bit. All we're doing is gradually bringing everything down by one or two blocks. I hope that makes sense. I really hope that makes sense. Go ahead and do the same thing on this side. And one. And I'm obviously getting tired because I'm just kind of going with it at this point. There we go. Lay down half slabs until you get a nice curved shape. I don't know how else to explain that. Last thing we really need to do is put these peaks on. So all they are is they're three wide and blocks and they utilize a couple pieces of stair. Let's go ahead and make these probably that high would be good. Oops. 
five high. That'll do. Yeah. And put some stairs in there. There we go. And fence. These all of these peaks start at the outside edge. Okay, they're three deep. Leave a space of one. See how there's these flat, flat, flat panels of three. That's what they're lining up with for the second one. Start at the outside edge. Lay three. Leave a space of one. I'm going to build this up here again. Leave a space of one. I will build it up again. Because the level before it was at least three high, you need to make sure this is at least three high. Otherwise, it gives it a bit of a skewed shape to it. Uh, we want to go that high with that? Let's go that high. Let's go four high on that one, five high on that one, and five high on the last one. Make this a little more curved, throw in some stairs. Bob's your uncle. I don't know if you actually have a bump, Uncle Bob. Let's do this too. There we go. I'm going to try and explain that a little bit better on this side. So let's make bring this up five half slabs. Oops. And then three half slabs. Let's go two half slabs and a stair. There we go. Just to give it that little bulk out. I don't know how the heck else to say that. All right. Oh, that should. This is too high. I made it. Oh no, never mind. I just didn't bring that up high enough. <laughs> I was gonna say I made a horrible mistake, but I didn't. And these ones here, we're gonna bring these ones up five as well. One, two, three, three, four, five. And maybe one. And a stair and one with a fence piece on top. Leave a space of one. We'll bring this one up four. Throw a stair and bring that up like that. How's that look? That looks pretty good. Let's throw a uh, torch on the a talk. Throw a talk on the top of that. A torch on the top of those. It does add almost enough light to keep monsters from spawning on the top of these things, but not quite. If you are playing in survival and you do need monsters to not spawn on your roof, you're gonna have to place an extra one right about so. And that'll give it enough light to keep the light level at six or higher. Pretty sure it's supposed to be six that stop things from spawning. And a doop. All right. We're gonna add little peak pieces on here as well. Let's go ahead and bring these up. Let's say it's one, two, three, four, five. Go five. That'll make it higher than the up. Yeah, five's good. And like a so. Like that. So five slabs. One, two, three, four, five. And we'll go with one of those and then some stairs and then another one. There we go. Those even? Tell me if they're not. They look even to me. Just even that out there. There's a lot of mini tweaks we make to this along the way. We'll throw our stairs on the tip, tippy top. And that's what it looks like. Okay. Last step just to help accentuate how this curves out, as if it's not already enough, already enough. Go ahead and take your stairs and run them along your posts. So start with three high, then go to four, and then five, and then six, and then seven. Sorry, that was wrong. Start with four, and then go five, six. Sorry, three, four, five, six. Oh my goodness. Can't count anymore. So three high, and then four, woo, and then five. Yeah, there's the sixth one. Okay, that's what it's going to look like 
from the outside. Last thing we need to do is clean up the front of all this. So you can see inside here. So you just take your dark oak wood and fill it all in so you don't see any of the uh, birch from the inside. It should be a solid wall running all the way across. All right, guys, that's uh, pretty much it there. We have done everything except for the interior, which we're not going to cover in this. If you want to make a nice, easy way to get between the floors, best thing to do is just throw, or best thing I think, is to just throw a support beam right underneath that there, and then start making yourself some, some stairs. Let's go ahead and do that. And we'll bring them up here. Uh, I'll probably get rid of all those. And, oop, can't fly. Like that. Okay. That just gives you a nice stairway to get up and down. From here, all I did was lay down a support wall through these in here and then just made myself a ladder going up here in the other house. So that's it guys. Hope you all enjoyed. Uh, if you did enjoy this video and you did get something out of it, feel free to, I hate doing this, but, you know, leave a like, leave a comment. If there's any pieces of this that I've made really unclear, please let me know and I will do my very best to give a follow-up video of some sort to clarify anything that I may have really left out. Uh, thanks a lot. Have a great day.